what is up guys it's soul bash welcome back to some more mobile legends today we're going to do something a little different and before we do get into it to the several hundred of you new guys here welcome to the channel we are going to do a lot of awesome mobile games stay tuned and remember voice your opinion if you don't you will never be heard and as i say that we are going to talk about community stuff today for one kick nine put out a post about mobile legends and the afk credit system that they have currently and the link is in the description below to this this is on their forums and basically what they've said is we've been receiving a lot of feedback and questions about the afk punishment system we'd like to take this opportunity to present a breakdown on how the current credit system works and what improvements we are working on now what is the credit system and why do we have it the credit rating is an indicator of a player's in-game behavior the credit system is in place to punish players who frequently afk or are otherwise causing toxicity in the game the ultimate goal of the credit system is to provide a better gaming environment for the mobile legends community now this is calculated by base value the credit is set to 100 by default and the minimum credit is zero now these following actions will result in a decrease of your credit being flagged as afk during a match will deduct between three and ten credits depending on your frequency and the duration of being afk and being reported by five players it doesn't have to be from the same match will deduct three credits per five reports now the following actions will result in an increase from your credit daily logins will add three credits and completing a pvp match without going afk will add two credits now the maximum credit deduction from player reports is six credits per day or 10 player reports but there's no limitation on deductions from being flagged afk during a match i like that for the fact that people can't constantly report you over and over and over and that kill your credit it's only six per day and you can do three matches easily and get those back but there's no limitations on you being flagged afk what they mean is by you going afk and what under the circumstances would you be flagged as afk this you'll be flagged as afk after 30 seconds of an activity if you have been flagged for afk for less than 20 percent of a whole match you will receive a minimum of three credit deduction if you've been flagged for over 20 percent of a match you will be de deducted up to 10 credits now, will I be flagged as AFK for quitting a match or disconnecting? Yes, you will. The rest of the game will be counted as your total AFK time. The longer the time, the more credit you will be deducted, maximum of 10. Uh, and the current system, how does the low credit rating punish a player? A player with low credit rating receives a deduction in the amount of daily earnings, which means their account experience, arena medals, rank rating, everything like that, that they receive per match. Now, the way that it's set currently, 100 to 80 credits you get 100 percent of daily earnings 79 to 60 you get 80 percent of daily earnings and you're unable to play ranked matches 59 percent to 20 percent 60 percent daily earnings and you're unable to play ranked matches and 19 to 0 percent you get 0 percent of daily earnings and you're unable to play ranked matches now they are looking for improvements and these are the ones that they have suggested so far that they're wanting to implement uh, what they've said is our awesome community has been actively giving us feedback on how we can improve the system and here are several things we are planning to do. One, they are wanting to add optimized bots to take over for AFK players. Two, add additional criteria for AFK, for example, wandering around the base doing nothing in an attempt to avoid being flagged as AFK. Three, reduce the minimum required reports for AFK from five to three. Four, reduce the credit you can get by daily logins from three to two. And five, add extra queue time before entering arena matchmaking for players who have less than 60 credit. The lower the credit, the longer the queues. Now, I do like that, that they're wanting to do. And as they say in the post, what do you guys think about the credit system? Does it work? Does it suck? What do you have in mind to improve it? Leave a comment on this post, guys. The link is in the description go let them be go, go let your voice be heard guys there's only like seven replies on this so far and some of them are, are you know reasonable and uh, like this one here a shell says in my opinion you need to be more strict in this game if a person is afk for 10 seconds it changes the game dramatically a fair policy should be if you are flagged afk three times you should be unable to compete and rank matches and it would reset with the daily login clock 
The three times is more than enough for those who have connectivity problems, but would create a better gameplay for all of us. I do agree with that. I think if they would have a system that would keep the toxicity, the people that are going AFK out of ranked, we would have a lot better gaming experience. Uh, another person, Angel of Death, says there are a lot of AFK players in the server, and in my opinion, they should be kicked out of the PvP, and they should be subbed by other online players to fill the missing link, and they may be fixed AFK problem. I do see that being a possibility. There's a, probably going to be a lot of coding to that, but you would have to find a medium, a happy medium for that. Say if a person goes AFK, you would be able to come into a match with an average of that person's both persons level and goal so it would kind of level you out make it even for the field um i'm not sure how the class change would work with that but it it really shouldn't matter i mean as long as you can get somebody that's not afk in a match and get people to continue playing rank matches hey whatever works would be great right there all right now as far as my opinion for this first off first thing i want to point address is the credit to begin with by default it's set to 100 i don't think it should be there now fair warning guys i do share a lot of my own opinions here that's why we are here we're here to share our ideas voice our opinions and see what we can do to help a community i can be a little harsh at times so beware i'm sorry if i do offend you on any of this i do say but I think credit should start out at zero. You should have to work your way up to be able to do rank matches, just like you have to do the system for what amateur one, just to be able to talk. You should have to earn the right to do rank matches. That would, I mean, just put it at what zero. You get what three, two or three per match. So two plus your daily login, you know, you're gonna do 30 to 40 matches anyway before you need to do rank. You need somebody that knows, you know, the concept, the aspects of what things are gonna be going on in the game. Other than that, I do have a few other ideas. For instance, when you first start a match, if the person does not move within the first 10 seconds of the match, immediately kick them out, reduce their points, and get somebody else in the match. Uh, that would create a heavy urge for people to be active at the very beginning of matches because that first fight that's that's sometimes the deciding factor and if you don't have everybody there it's going to go down south very fast all right other than that um for the first season i'm not sure if it's completely over with and that i yet i haven't looked i've been really busy but as far as the system currently I did not do a whole lot of group matches, duo and trio matches. That's one thing I would like to see them change is not being able to group up to do rank matches. For one, that sets a heavy bar for people to go in with, you know, a solid set of something they know they can control everything with. And you're gonna see the same people dominate on top with that every time because they're able to run with the same group. They're able to, you know, basically get the game down if you're running up against other people like that that's fine but when you run into three people that aren't used to playing together and you have that it's no contest so they can either fix it to where you can only go versus threes or go solo i would like to see the threes taken out that way everybody can have fair competition you can only solo queue for rank that's my opinion if you can't hack it in solo queue you're not that great i mean anybody can show off in a threes team that's pre-built that's just my opinion though uh, other than that, let's see, banning a certain legend, that is another thing that I think could possibly be added in, especially with the team matches that they're doing. If you got three set people, let me ban one of those guys. You know, let me have that option of voting for which one they're not able to use. That way we can't be screwed on the same match, the same results every time. Because once you get up to a certain level, you're going to be basically seeing a lot of the same people over and over and over. Um, other than that, as far as the credit system goes, like I said, I, I just I think they need to earn it. For one, if you don't earn it, I don't see any respect in the game. But that's my opinion. And that's what we're here for, guys, to voice your opinion. The couple hundred of you that are new here, guys, say something. If you don't say something, you'll never be heard. That's what we're here for. This is what the community is for. I love the fact that they're taking 
information from the community and turning it into a reality in the game and actually listening to what people are saying. And if you don't say anything, guys, they're not going to hear you. So now's your chance. The link's in the description. You can go post on the forums. You can also leave a comment here. We will get this addressed, guys. Thank you for listening. Like I said, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. Also on the forums as well. That's all I have for today. We'll be back tomorrow with hopefully a new legend. And thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Solvash. You guys have a nice day.